And that's about the gist of the Sky Bandit incident that occurred in Northern Laboro. Hmm, and to think that the bankrupt Capua family drifted all the way down here. You might be contacted by Liberal regarding the incident, so deal with it as you see fit. Yeah, it turns out I wasn't able to meet him in the end. It seems like something else must have come up. Also, the connection with a Sky Bandit incident is still unknown, but it's clear that another power is at work here. No, it's not like that at all. I've also become acquainted with an interesting bunch. The food's great, and there are babes everywhere. This is unquestionably my kind of country. Maybe I'll just take up permanent residence here while I'm at it. Alright, alright, there's no need to throw a fit. Anyway, see what else you can find out. Just don't get caught looking into things by the Chancellor. I'll contact you again, my dear friend. <laughs> I love messing with that guy. He's just so stuffy and uptight that I can't help myself. A portable phone, huh? Well, aren't you carrying around quite the nifty gadget? Hmm? Sarah? And the fact that you're carrying around an orbment that even the Zeiss Central Factory couldn't create, well... How about you tell me who you really are? Come on, Shara, don't treat me like I'm some kind of stranger. I'm Olivier Lindheim, the wandering bard and gifted musician you've come to adore. But if you'd like to get to know me better, I'm sure we could arrange something. A little pillow talk, perhaps? How about we skip the foreplay and go straight to the climax? Your cheap antics don't fool me, Olivier. Or should I call you Mr. Erebonian Operative? <laughs> it looks like the title Silver Streak isn't just for show. So, I guess you are pretending that you didn't notice in front of Estelle and Joshua, huh? I don't want to worry those two any more than they already are. So, back to the subject at hand. Why don't you start talking? Who are you? And what are you doing in Liberal? Before that, I'm going to have to correct you on two points. First off, these cheap antics, as you call them, are totally natural. I'm not play-acting or anything. That's just who I am. Oh, I'm sure. So do you mean to tell me that you drank that wine without paying just because you felt like it? And after that, being taken to the Huck and Gate so you could gather information was all a part of the plan. And you even set yourself up to run into us. I don't think so. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll leave that part up to your imagination. The other thing I must correct you on is that this device is not an ornament. It is an artifact which was unearthed in the Empire. It can piggyback off of any orbital communication system, and its transmissions can be encrypted, so there's no worry about them being intercepted. It comes in handy for a busy man such as myself. An artifact? Like one of the sacred relics the Septian Church has stewardship over? Hmm. Now I'm all the more curious to know what you're after. Oh, no, 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 Shara. You should never try to pry into the secrets of a mysterious beauty all at once. How would you like to get to know a real woman? I'd be more than willing to show you with my whip. Shara, I don't see any humor in those eyes. Well, jokes aside... You really should have just been straightforward from the beginning. As you have already figured out, my position is like that of an operative in the Empire. But I have no intention of sabotaging anything or stealing classified information. I merely came here to meet a certain someone. A certain someone? Yes, someone you know all too well. 
the one lauded as the supreme swordsman and master strategist by the royal army. The bracer with a special title belonging to but four people throughout the whole of the entire continent. The Divine Blade, Cassius Bright, is the one I seek. <laughs>